Deciphering the Doomsday Prophecy, The Secrets of the Pyramids. Many scientists have been long puzzled by the pyramids. We are born with knowledge of time-related facts, like they weren't all pointed. Most pyramids were built west of the Nile. No one knows how they were built. The Egyptians utilized astronomy to guide building. They weren't built by slaves, and the Great Pyramid can tell time. There are many theories surrounding the pyramids, which makes us curious. What exactly are the pyramids' hidden meanings? And what is the Doomsday Prophecy? Apocalyptic messages that could be interpreted from architectural measurements Questions like, are the clues to the pyramid's mysteries hidden in Egypt's Great Pyramid? These ideas may sound absurd to anyone outside the scientific community. However, according to three pages of notes that Sotheby's auctioned off, Isaac Newton actually became fixated on them. The doomsday prophecy and the pyramid's secrets will be revealed in due time. So stay tuned. Isaac Newton, arguably the most significant figure of the scientific revolution of the 16th and 17th centuries, was seeking proof for his gravitational theory. Furthermore, according to Gary Heaton, an expert in manuscripts at Sotheby's and companies like Sotheby's, the ancient Egyptians may have known alchemy secrets that have been since lost. Harriet Sherwood of The Observer in Sherwood, today, these appear like separate fields of study, but to Newton in the 17th century, they didn't look that way. His many accomplishments include the discovery that white light is composed of light of different colors, the formulation of three laws of motion that form the basis of modern physics, and his contribution to the development of calculus. The observer claims that Newton started looking into the pyramids in the 1680s. Newton felt that the ancient Egyptians held knowledge that had been lost through the years, like some other European scholars of his time. The Great Pyramids constructed Instructors preferred units of measurement, the cubit, piqued Newton's interest. He thought it might help him determine the precise measurements of other old buildings. He was especially interested in finding out the size of the Temple of Solomon because he believed it would hold the key to interpreting the biblical apocalypse. In contrast to the majority of Christians, he disproved of the Holy Trinity and believed that Jesus Christ served as a mediator between God and humanity. Additionally, he was intrigued by biblical prophecy and tried to decipher its messages to gain more more knowledge about future events, particularly those that would occur during the second coming centuries. The early scientist linked his interest in the pyramid to his investigations into gravity. He thought that the ancient Greeks measured the circumference of the earth using the stade, an Egyptian-derived unit. In an effort to validate his own theory of gravity, Newton made an attempt to explain the historical measurement. Despite the long-lasting effects of his discoveries on the advancement of science, they were one of the main sources of inspiration for his research on ancient meteorology. According to his specialist in ancient history, the two lost pyramids of Lake Moors may show the Great Pyramid of Giza was actually intended to be a massive water pump rather than a tomb. For many years, historians and Egyptologists debated the purpose of the Great Pyramid of Ancient Egypt. This debate is understandable considering the incredible architectural feats needed to build such a complex so long ago. However, according to expert Matthew Sibson on ancient civilizations, a little-known description of two pyramids close to Lake Moors by the Greek historian Herodotus may hold the key to this illusion. During his brief visit to Egypt in 1490 BC, Herodotus collected local stories of two enormous monuments submerged in a man-made lake. One of archaeology's greatest puzzles is how the Egyptian pyramids were constructed. The incredible achievement of the Egyptians is more impressive when you consider that more than two million blocks of limestone and granite were used to build the Great Pyramid of Giza. It is unknown exactly how the Egyptians built this marvel of architecture, but the general consensus is that they used an earthen, brick, and sand embankment that was raised in height as the pyramid grows. A great network of caves, chambers, and tunnels is allegedly hidden beneath the Great Pyramids, according to a British explorer who claims to have found the pharaoh's long-forgotten underworld. The Giza Pyramids Fields underground complex, which was found in the limestone bedrock, was inhabited by poisonous spiders and bats. The first look inside was made possible for researchers in 2017 thanks to particle physics. Researchers were able to get the first inside look in 2017 thanks to particle physics. Their findings revealed an unexpected underground world of secret passageways and rooms. The largest discovery may have been a 100-foot-long gaping hole directly above the main gallery of the pyramid. Thought to have been originally covered by highly polished limestone casing stones, the majority of these casing stones were wretched loose over the centuries and used in other construction projects. Only the very top of Caffrey's pyramid has any remaining limestone casing. There have been hidden rooms and tunnels for countless years to deter robbers trying to steal the wealth of the Egyptian rulers who were preparing to take it with them into the hereafter. 
Many ancient Egyptian pyramids that memorialize the likes of the pharaoh featured secret doors and rooms. It is simple to reconstruct a past in which individuals like Newton were so-called pure scientists, free from the influence of pseudoscience, religious politics, and other disciplines that were no longer considered to be part of science. However, for thousands of years, even the most sane scientists struggled with challenging issues that made it challenging to rule out these more improbable explanations. How could they infer that miasma theory and the classical elements weren't accurate or compatible without atomic or cell theory, for instance? All of this is to indicate that even Newton was immersed in his pseudoscience studying alchemy and looking for occult significance in various locations. Ancient Egypt's pyramids, especially the most famous and photogenic group at Giza, have always been a draw for esoterica. In fact, the pseudoscience industry surrounding the pyramids is so vast that it has its own term. Similar to UFOlogy, Pyramidology. Pyramidology was a topic that interested Newton because of his interest in alchemy and even his underlying Christian beliefs. He believed that the pyramids contained the key to understanding the specific Christian end-of-world scenario described in the Book of Revelations. The Book of Revelations is filled with symbolism and numbers that have fascinated scholars for centuries. Its tone and subject matter drastically differ from the other Bible books that come before it. The puzzle book that has been viewed by them as a real-life conundrum whose answer might end up saving the world. Additionally, it was forbidden to combine science or pseudoscience with the prevailing Christian beliefs throughout Newton's lifetime. He had to keep these studies a secret from everyone despite the fact that they were directly tied to how ardently he believed the Bible. Here too, Newton discovered that he was looking for complicated solutions. Regardless, he made some relevant deductions, which are the burned Great Pyramid Papers by Isaac Newton. This was to reveal his covert attempt to foretell the end of the world. The renowned English physicist's unpublished notebooks describe his intense pursuit of discovering the mysteries of the Egyptian pyramids. Three pages written by the illustrious scholar are projected to bring around six figures at an upcoming Sotheby's sale. According to his writings from the 17th century, Newton thought the measurements of the structures could aid him in foretelling the end of the world. They were written in the 1600s and include reflections on the Great Pyramid of Egypt, prehistoric units of measurement, and biblical prophecy. The notes were nearly irretrievably destroyed when they were burned in a fire that is alleged to have started when Newton's dog, Diamond, leaped up onto a table and knocked over a candle, according to the web listing. According to Sotheby's ad, the Pyramid of Giza are not merely the greatest architectural wonders of the ancient world that has survived. To Newton, as well as many others, they were a key that might reveal profound secrets. Notes that were later sold for £378, or $511,000 at Sotheby's auction, the notes contain his thoughts on alchemy, biblical prophecy, natural philosophy, and even the end of the world. Alchemy and religion were two subjects that fascinated Newton, but he refrained from publishing works on them because it would have cost him his career, according to Sotheby's. He also discussed the Giza pyramids and gravity in a mashup of English, Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. The auction house stated that the writings reveal a side of the scientist that was kept silent until decades after his death. At this point, it is safe to say that Newton, arguably one of the top scientists scientists to ever live believe that the pyramids held the secrets of not just the world, but the apocalypse. Why? I believe we may never know, but I want you to hear your thoughts on it. Leave them in the comments below.